I think this is like one of my hidden um, motivations. So, uh, a Kulkin, which is like this Mayan poetry god, but it literally came to me like in a dream. So this was like, I don't know, I was like 23, 24 or whatever. And uh, I, ha I had this dream where I, I didn't realize it was a dream. Like it felt real up until this point that I realized that I was dreaming and then like all this weird stuff happened, right? So I'm like in my room and then like the doorbell rings and I'm like, what? This is weird. And then I see it and like there's a box and this like, I don't see the FedEx guy, but like I see the car like drive away and I'm like, that's weird. I didn't um, order anything. And then I get this box and I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'm going back to my room. But that's when like things started to get weird because I started really questioning things. And then I'm like, oh my God, I'm dreaming. And then I'm like, okay, let me go with this. I'm like, what's in this box? And I open up this box and and it's, um, I think I, I, I mentioned it in, in, in the chat one time. There's this um, video that I posted and there's this guy who has like this like pipe that's like has like incense in it, but it makes a sound and like the, the smoke comes out of it. And I'm like, oh my God, that's exactly like what this like thing that I got uh in the mail was and so i i just like you know like in a dream you just get like these um intuitive like knowledge and you kind of just like go to the script and so like i go through this like weird ritual where i have like water and then i burn this thing and the smoke comes up and it starts dancing and it starts like teaching me things right and then like <laughs> and then it turns into the, like this bolt and then it like makes this word like these three little like etches as it like dances in the in the sky and then it goes to the sun and i'm like what the fuck and this like was so vivid that i i woke <laughs> up and i'm like what the hell that was a crazy ass dream and i'm like is that aztec or mayan and i'm like at this time i haven't like read anything about this like i hardly know anything about it and I'm, I was just like this is so weird so like I go in and like I search it and I find this like one reference to a word that I, I think I see in the dream and it sure enough it lines up it's, it's uh, uh, the Mayan god of like poetry and music but the thing about this he's also the sun god so like a Koken transfers into um, to the sun god like the, the sun like that's the uh, form the, the bolt is like the form it teaches us how to sing <laughs> it, it is like metaphor of, of the uh, characteristics of a koken is uh, a sun bolt teaching us the songs of uh, the universe <laughs> in a sense anyway yeah it took I, me I years to like realize all that but yeah it was, like a, it was like a seed of a dream and like later I decode it, you know? And so that's like one of my yeah. my, my motivations to like um, create this framework going back to, to like the dream time because, you know, when I had that, that dream, I had no like context or frame or reference of like how, like what it actually meant. It was just like something weird that happened to me. <laughs> It was just like something that like oh i need to like figure it out like every 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 chance that i had like a chance to like really breathe and like dance with like what do i want to like express what do i want to like understand and it always goes back to like that and other other stuff but like that's one big one i think too you know like there's this one book that i was reading and it was with all the poetry stuff but anyways it, the, this essay was about this tribe, this tribe in the um, in the Amazon, and they were like this hunting tribe or whatever, and they would use ayahuasca together, and they would like plan plan out like their like hunting <laughs> in the ayahuasca trip, right? And like different things would mean different things, and they would have this total like um, shared consciousness space. And so, anyways, this guy like gets invited in there, and and anyways. And they're talking about this. And then the later the poet says, the way that they were able to use it is because they had this shared um, language. They had this shared myth. They had the shared narrative in which they could use to describe those things. And it goes back to what I was saying about how language affects our perception. And, and they like the, the example of the colors. 
you know, that one tribe that doesn't have a, a name for like a blue, so that it's hard for them to distinguish like the blue from the green, and it kind of like blends in together, and they and they can't have those subtle like differences. And in the same way, if we don't have these words that we understand, um, you know, not not in like an academic sense, but like in in this like poetic intuitive sense um that that we could uh decode and and have that more harmonic meaning of these different things that are just bubbling or on the you know on the consciousness of of of, of us <laughs> of everything you know it's, it's bubbling everywhere <laughs> yeah well thanks guys thanks. For, for coming um anything yeah anything last you wanted to bring up kevin I was just going to say, I, you know, if you think about like um, h- how we get once removed from what isn't the the way the you know we're speaking English to each other, mm-hmm. we're, we're not speaking French or we're not applying words to symbols. You could you could call a, a letter a caricature, you know, to a degree like cuneiform, but mm. the depth that comes from speaking. Or applying language to, to symbols like um, if you you know the the Egyptian culture or the the Mayan or Aztec culture mm-hmm. were able to express much more complete things from carving a, a single edifice than having to form sentences or paragraphs right just yeah. because one one component in one image could provide far more transmissible consciousness than having to go through the challenge of dissecting and choosing words to describe things that the mind already understands, right? Yeah. And it, we would we'd understand them completely had not uh, a certain other group of people come and taken away the direct interface to what those mean through the the libraries that were. Were, that held all the reason that the symbols were created from our last, you know, great expedition into the dream or, or in, in co-creating the... Because all we're doing now is exiting the sort of, you know, the Wydeco and entering into the, the greater possibility of, of being life right we're we're no longer focused on the decay now now we're co-creating with with the engagement piece and um i like kind of like chris said that story is kind of writing itself and we just need to use our symbols our tonal frequencies and our language to help create something that people can share and understand without having to figure out individually so that's just cool what you guys were saying yeah totally and I, it goes back to what i was saying earlier when i first started engaging with within the vacuum like a lot of that was just like playing with it and not like understanding but it, going back to the point of these symbols and even using something like the tiles right we're like in a sense, reinventing the wheel of like that codex. And also too, I remember reading the beginning of the Testament and about how like comics with the visuals and the text can like communicate like a whole different like landscape. Um, and I think what, what, what has happened a lot too, when we truncated so much to text that like we, we, that is like a big noise thing, like just on its face, you know what I mean? <laughs> there's, there's no um, tone at all in, in when, when, like we've been so predominant with text and especially the, like the acceleration of like what, what happened with social media and, and the algorithms within itself. But it's interesting too, that like even the same tools, right? I was reading this article really briefly that they were using AI imaging to like um, when you stimulate the brain to like think of like a a car and then using the AI to use the brain signals to like bring out that image. They've done this with like dreaming too, but it's getting better. <laughs> and I always think about that. You know, like, it, what? What like, like when, when people try to 
to give some instructions to other people. You know, there's there's people that is very practical and go to the, to the to the deal and that's it. But uh, other people can't explain and even even it's something very simple that they, they they it's it's very hard for for them to do it. It's the same when you the terms the, you sure. have to name everything. You know, I have to label everything. You have to put a name to it. And you kind of believe that you understand what you're talking about because you know the name of it, but you don't know anything about it. And it happens, you know, with with how we actually engineer the world from that separated perspective when you, okay, I know how to, you know, I know about this single thing and don't know how how this single thing is connected to everything so that's problematic that's what we have that's why language became so confusing because it's not getting anywhere because it's all separated it's disconnected from each other like this narrative this uh, narrative mm -hmm. a mandala narrative it's it's taking us there you know in a way to as uh The other day, Solcista uh, shared uh, the mega like the thinking like algorithm thinking or something oh, like that. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking about like more like geometric thinking yeah. of things, you know, like like how you can uh, uh, think in a way spatial, like spatial thinking, yeah. And toroidal, yeah. toroidal structure thinking. <laughs> it's like, you know, <laughs> because otherwise it's just, it's just words. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. mean anything. It's disconnected. This is the the power of the Imaginarium, I think. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. It it, <laughs> it helps. Um, Or at least for me, I don't know about anybody else, but it, it has proven over time to like have this power of um, going what you were saying of like um, setting the tone to be back to like when you're like more of a kid and not being so concerned about knowing ev everything, but also just like being playful and engaging on that level. Yeah. I mean, I remember feeling that that raw power of that with um the minds poetry group because like you know there's this like larger context especially at that time that like you know minds was like alt right or whatever but like the biggest thing on minds at that time was like this poetry open mic poetry thing on minds you know what i mean <laughs> and it was just like that like juxtaposition of like what broadly say the overculture thinks what this thing is And then, like, what's actually, like, happening on the ground is just, like, people wanting to um, express and, like, connect, like, beyond, like, the the posting and the text, like, like connecting in, in, uh, on a very, you know, pri like, because open mic and us talking, this is, like, you know, there's nothing more essential than, like, to be human is, like, to gather around, like, a fire and bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what, what that we do. <laughs> yeah. What else? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for making time. Um, and we'll have more fun on Minds. And, and in 13 days, again, we'll celebrate a new cycle and uh, we'll have more fun. But to um, yes. the music, how what's, what's going on? Um, I'm just wondering about like um, links to promote when you when you release the music within the vacuum. Okay, what's coming is the okay the the release the yeah. event oh, cool. in Barcelona. No, in Madrid. Okay. Maybe there will be another in Barcelona. I don't know yet. And I'm gathering the musicians for practice and the album is ready I think it's ready as it is right now with uh, the yeah. version without the chanting yeah, yeah. and we can have this, uh, these other versions I, I, I imagine like 
thousands of versions yeah. <laughs> of different versions of each track and I just want to put it out there and you know like I'm, I feel so thankful you know I yeah. feel so thankful so grateful for everything and and just want to share you know just want to just want to do that you know just want to gather and <laughs> and, and bullshit 